All right, we'll be looking at the problems on the packet from the calendar that say domain and range exit tax problems. You should download this packet. Attempt to work the problems before viewing the video. As you're viewing the video, after you watch each problem, then see if you can um, answer the subsequent problems. Number one, it says, what is the domain of the function graphed below? Well, we hopefully know by now that domain is the x or the input values. And we hopefully also know that the x's go from left to right. Left and right. So one way to find the domain is to bound the graph on the left and right side. Hopefully you see that we have an empty point here and an empty point here. I'm going to draw a vertical line through both of these values. I'm drawing it dashed because the circle is empty. And I'm drawing it dashed over here. Why am I drawing a vertical line? Well, we're seeking the domain. Domain is x, and the x's are left and right. So I want to know how far to the left and the right does the graph go. I want to know on this curve what are the possible x values. Well, the left bound here is negative 3. x is negative 3. The right bound here we see is positive 3. All of the values, all of the points on this graph have an x value somewhere between negative 3 and positive 3. Since this circle is empty, we've drawn this dashed line, we won't have the equal to part in the, in the equality, inequality. Number 1, the answer is B. X's can be from negative 3 to positive 3, but no equal to part because of the empty circle. Okay. Pause the video at this time and try the remainder of the problems. Number 2. Again, it asks, what is the domain? We know the domain is the x values. So again, we will consider the left and the right bound of the graph. This time we have a colored endpoint. The left bound is negative 5. All x values on this line are negative 5. The right bound is positive 5. All x values on this line are positive 5. So, we can see that on this graph, the x values will go from negative 5 to positive 5. In this case, we do need the equal to because these points are colored in. We call them closed. A colored in point we call closed. It can equal that number. An empty point we call open. In the previous case we had an open point. In this case it's a closed one. Our domain will be from negative 5 to 5 in addition to the equal portion. From negative 5 less than or equal to x less than or equal to positive 5. Number 2 is h. Pause the video at this time and attempt the rest of them. All right, number three deals with domain again. I want you to review question number one. This will be very similar to question one. Review number one. Notice that the endpoints are the open circles, just like number one. It's labeled number 35. Let's call this one number four. The question sentence asks us this time to identify the range. Well, we know range is the y 
and the y's are vertical up and down so I'm gonna consider the bottom of the graph drawing a line through the bottom this value is 2 y is 2 this is the minimum y value on this line there are no y values less than 2 the rest of it is above and you'll notice this time we have an arrow here this indicates that the the line goes forever and ever infinitely in the positive direction so we're bounded on the bottom by a y value of 2 but we're unbounded on the top so our range all y's that are greater than or equal to 2 again the colored in point indicates that we need the equal to number 4 is D okay lastly we'll call this one number five it appears as though we had one problem repeated so you can um, omit this one it was it is the same as number one number five again we are looking for the range well range is the y's so we will consider the vertical minimum and maximum of this graph this is the top of the graph this is a y value of 2 and as you can see the graph extends infinitely downward so 2 is our maximum y value and the rest of the y values go down so it certainly wasn't going to be C. C refers to the X. We're looking for the range. Range is Y. Likewise, it wouldn't be B, also referring to the X. The correct answer is D. Y's less than or equal to 2. We have no Y value above 2. They're all 2 and below. It can be equal to 2 because of this line here. It's bold. It's colored in, essentially. 2 is a possible Y value. 5 is D. That concludes this video.